Hey everyone, Pixel Pedant here, taking a look at how to make a TI-99 foray sing the traditional way. In the past, I've made my TI-99 foray synthesize speech in a series of pitches that put together kind of make a song by using a tool I devised myself to edit TI-99 foray LPC speech patterns. But uh, today, I'm going to be doing it the traditional way, which is via the Terminal Emulator 2 cart and its allophone speech mode. So what is allophone speech? Well, I'll show you. If we go into TI Basic with the Terminal Emulator 2 cart inserted, we can open up the allophone speech I.O. device. Ooh. and feed it patterns, which gives us a lot more flexibility than we would have otherwise doing speech synth and extended basic. So here I'm specifying the byte value 252 to start things off. That prompts the speech synth engine to accept a byte, giving it a new default pitch value. That's gonna be 22. Then I'm gonna give it a couple of sounds to speak. Number 52. So what we got was two concatenated sound 52s at pitch 22. So you can see how this leads to the possibility of putting together a song with the right sounds at the right pitches. Allophone speech gives you access to 125 different speech sounds that you can put together in any order you please. And it's up to you to put them together in a way that makes sense, that actually makes words, that sound like a sentence. All the timing, all the sounds, and the order of them is up to you. And as I say, the pitch is up to you as well, so you can modify the pitch to any of those desired 63 values. Uh, there are some caveats there. One is that um, as a conventional ti 994 a file I.O. device, you can only feed patterns up to 255 bytes in length, so there's a limit there. And when you run out of space, you might just have to call it again. Uh, another is that it's relatively difficult to control the length of utterances. So that is to say, uh, if it gives you the sound ow, which it does, uh, it gives you the sound ow at a specific rate of speech. And if you want it to say ow rather than ow, you don't really have that option. So you can combine monophthongs in a way that might sort of work. Uh, combine three ah uh, with three oo. So you get ah uh, oo rather than ow. But an ow or a U isn't really something the allophone speech engine can do. So, some limitations. So I'll show you my strategy for compiling allophone speech, and I'll show you the result. So let's pull up the program here, which was my attempt to compose Video Killed the Radio Star for TI-994A speech synth, such as it is. Possible? Sort of. Pretty big program, takes a while to load. And as far as the strategy there goes, I mean, you've kind of got to make it more practical than it would be were you just listing a sequence of values between 1 and 255. And you could do that, but the problem is how do you make writing words efficient? without memorizing the values of all of those in terms of their phonetic value or functional value in the case of values like 252, which introduces a new pitch. And so my strategy there was to create mnemonics, uh, variable names that just signify uh, what this particular sound is. So I've got SI for S initial, SF, for S final, ZF for Z final, THVI for the voiced initial version of the interdental th, 
uh, wi for w initial, that is to say at the beginning of a word, and bi for b initial, b at the beginning of a word. The upshot of that being that I can just type um, bi uh, dollar sign and e dollar sign and tf dollar sign, and I've got the word bet, and it kind of looks like the word bet. It's got the letters B E T in there, or B I E T F, but I know what those second values uh, in the variable names signify, which is final or initial, or in some cases, uh, medial. Anyway, there are, in some cases, initial, medial, and final versions of the letter in the allophone speech listing. Okay, so let's hear what this sounds like. Let's hear this monstrosity if I set it to running. It's going to take a while to assemble all of the data, but here we go. Since it's a sequence of five um, speech segments of between 200 and 250 bytes, it's a lot of data. Well, for a DI-99-4A and for this solution. I heard you on the wireless back in 52, laying awake in 10, tuning in on you. If I was young, it didn't stop you coming through. They took the credit for your second symphony, rewritten by machine on the technology. And now I understand the problems you can see. I met your children. What did you tell them? Maybe you killed in the radio you star. Maybe you killed in the radio you star. Pictures came and broke your heart. And now we meet in an abandoned studio. We hear the playback and it seems so long ago. And you remember the jingles you follow. You were a first one. You were a last one. Maybe you killed in the radio star. Maybe you killed in the radio star. In my mind and in my car, we can rewind the mom to car. Maybe you killed in the radio star. Maybe you killed in the radio star. In my mind and in my car. We can rewind the mom to car. Pictures came and broke your heart. Put a blame on me, CR. <laughs> so there we go. Video killed the radio star straight from my TI-99 4A. So I invite, invite anyone else with the Terminal Emulator 2 cartridge to uh, take a shot at allophone speech. I'd be interested to hear a few more songs. And I know people certainly did compose songs back in the day. There are a couple examples in the magazine literature of folks attempting that. So I'm sure there are some discoveries to be made in the history of the TI-99 4A, where people have put together some interesting atrocities of a similar nature to this one. Have a good day, folks.